This video will focus on author's purpose. Everything that has been written has been written for a reason. One of the tasks we have as readers is to understand the purpose for why something was written. Authors do not necessarily tell us why they wrote something. Rather, they give us hints based upon the text structure, the main idea, the details and evidence that they give us, and the tone or word choices that they've used in their writing. As we read, we attempt to piece together the purpose based upon all of this information. Now, in the course of these videos, we'll cover each one of these topics, but it's important to be able to identify the author's purpose, purpose generally um, as we go forward. When I read, I like to first decide what the purpose is based upon three big ideas. If the author is trying to teach me something, then his or her purpose is more than likely trying to inform me about something. Authors whose purpose is to inform typically wish to provide information, explanations, facts, or historical information to the reader. An example of this might be a biology textbook or a recipe for cinnamon rolls. Key words that authors will use are like tell, explain, describe, illustrate. Um, they help us to know that the author, when you see words like this, the author is actually trying to teach us something or inform us about something. Uh, another big idea that I, that I like uh, to categorize uh, what I read or the purpose, uh, what I think the author has, is persuasion. When the author's purpose is to persuade you, uh, they typically will use a, an emotional appeal or, or an emotional language. They'll use commanding language asking us to do certain things or arguments supported by evidence that may be one-sided or not well balanced. The author is trying to convince us to feel or act or think a certain way about the topic. This is very, very common in nearly all types of reading material. For example, newspapers, media, speeches, letters to the editor are just a few of them. Key words that you'll often uh, see used in a persuasive piece of writing will include words like convince, encourage, urge, argue. Oftentimes they'll use exclamation points or bold language or even dramatic questions to try and convince you that their position is right. The third category that I, I tend to group uh, purposes in is entertainment. When an author is telling a funny story, relating a personal narrative or fictional narrative, or giving a compelling or in ex inspiring uh, experience, most likely their aim is to entertain the reader. Quite often novels, plays, poetry are all forms of written entertainment. There's really no key words, there's more key phrases and structures that authors use to kind of give you that hint that they're using uh, entertainment for their purpose. For example, uh, they may start off a, a story by the first time I, I was on the ocean, or once upon a lone November, or it was a dark and stormy night. These are all typical things that you might find in a story. They will oftentimes use figurative language as well in their, in their writing. As I said, these are big ideas, uh, that just big categories that I use to kind of decide what the purpose is to start off with. The, may, the author may have a more defined purpose, um, but we'll go into that in more detail in the videos on main idea and central argument. For the purposes of this video, let's just stick with the big pictures and grouping by these three categories. Let's try a few. Pause the video and read through these four passages. See if you can categorize each of these into informative or persuasive or entertainment. Let's look at a few, or let's look at the first passage. If this was the first two sentences of a newspaper editorial, what would we deduce would be the author's purpose? Well, for me, I look at the statement and one ends with an exclamation point. So that's a red flag that, boy, they're being very strong in their statement. I also think about the topic. Gun control is a controversial topic. So there's an exclamation point and they're using, it's about a controversial topic. I also notice that they're using commanding language. They're asking me a very a difficult question to answer. It's a loaded question. So there's really, you know, 
the only way to answer it right would be to agree with them. And so the purpose would probably be uh, to persuade. Now let's try the, the next passage. In this passage, we're given the definition of the concept of literacy. And then we're also to told how it's expanded. This definition is expanded over time. So for me, this really um, has a purpose of, of informing me about the concept of literacy. The third passage uses grand language like hidden treasure, my opinion, and best national park. It also gives evidence such as breathtaking vistas and a contrasting uh, point of view about the competitors, Yellowstone and Yosemite, of too many cars or too many people. Based upon that, I'm getting the vibe that the author is trying to persuade me that Grand Teton, Grand Teton National Park is actually the best national park in the, system, the national park system. The final passage um, can be a little tricky, but not really. Uh, my first clue about what the purpose is, is that it's written in a first person and it tends to read like a story. The author references another story, Alice in Wonderland, and also uh, at the end drops the surprise ending of the person having early onset Alzheimer's. So for me, this is really set up as an entertainment uh, uh, or entertaining uh, kind of a narrative and something to keep in mind, in mind about the the purpose of entertainment it doesn't necessarily mean we have to be laughing it doesn't have to be funny to be entertaining um, it can play on all sorts of emotions the primary purpose though is to entertain based upon the mood of the reader so I may be wanting to read about this inspiring experience the person had with early onset Alzheimer's. Um, so it's just important to keep that in mind. Recognizing an author's intent or purpose is criti a critical aspect and a foundational skill to reading comprehension. So as you read over this week, take a moment and, and see if you can determine the author's purpose after just reading a few lines of whatever it is you're reading. Try to get good at being able to just say, yeah, this is an, they're trying to inform me or they're trying to persuade me or they're trying to entertain me. By improving our ability to recognize purpose, we're also improving our abilities as a reader.